Can you talk about your leadership going into this year? My leadership? Um, well, I just know I got to be better than last year. I got to be more vocal. I got to be, my action got to be more better than last year, basically. We saw, I think it was maybe a week and a week and a half ago, you know, for the first time in the preseason, the, the Bullets projected starting line, DJ, Brian and yourself were all kind of at the same uh, on the same line. What was that like, kind of finally getting the back the, the crew back together a little bit and having everybody healthy enough to practice? I mean, the, the depth really mattered, but we just trying to get everybody on the same page of winning, like just playing good football, winning football. Just everybody just has the same standard, and everybody just buying in. That's it. What are you expecting to see from DJ this year? Um, a lot. Just uh, the kid. He he very explosive. Um, he give great energy to the ball. Um, he's gonna be gonna be very disturbing this year, like to quarterbacks. He's gonna be good. You were allowed to kind of slowly work your way into the college football freshman, but he's been thrown right into the, the fire. What can be done to bring someone like that up to speed in time for week one? Um, I mean, just just like getting him ready, like developing him. I mean, it was a, it was a process because like. Some kid just just don't get it. I mean, like that, just like the plays and how stuff goes. It's like he he studied every night. He was always in the playbook. He was always in the meeting room. He was always doing something to get better. What's the key to beating the double team? The key to beating the double team. Um, to me, I just how I, I I've got a lot better of doing it. Just know it's coming every time. And I feel like I'm gonna beat that guy every time, the, my post guy. How, how frustrating was that sometimes last year, kind of facing more of that than maybe you had in the past, and, and kind of working through that? Um, I don't know. It was it was it was stressful. I mean, it was all me though. So it was just being me and not prepared. You feel not prepared this year, kind of knowing kind of it's coming, and like you said, just expect it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give us an idea, though, like a percentage. How how often were you double teamed last year? Um, I really don't know. It really don't matter about being double teamed. It just it's just playing your technique right. It's just everything about technique. It don't it don't really matter about being double teamed or who double teamed you or how to play it. It's just playing your keys, and and I wasn't playing my keys. You've said a couple times how you weren't really doing what you needed to do, whether that's in terms of leadership or in terms of like the little things to improve your game. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that and how did you realize that you weren't doing everything you needed to do? I mean, it shows. Like, I went from, I just, my sophomore, you all see my sophomore year stats and my junior year stats, totally different. So it wasn't me. I mean, at the end of the year, it showed. Most scouts talk about uh, you know having a high motor and how they look in that. Do you think you have a high motor? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I'm unreal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is that something that you had to kind of remind yourself of? I mean, over the course of your career, just to just to kind of you know keep going even if if things were kind of tough. Um, it's just having a high motor. I mean, it just it just you just pushing through. The, you just pushing through. I mean, you just. You just grinding it out, and you just you just being just being you. I mean, I don't know how to explain having a high motor or none of that, but it's just something that I got is my ability. In the spring, that uh, Saban was talking a few times about kind of challenging the defensive line and kind of them calling you out, but saying the defensive line needs to step it up. But did you hear that? What was, yeah. What was your response to that in the spring? Um, let my action show. This is like my action show, um, doing doing better at practice, um, just doing the little stuff he liked. And at the time, we wasn't doing it. And that's that's all it was. We wasn't doing the, the little things. Are you now? I hope so. I mean, I even heard him <laughs> yelling in a little minute. So who knows? Well, we one of only a, kind of a handful of, of seniors on that, that defense, and really on this team. Um, what's it like seeing some of the true freshmen Christian and other guys are going to be in there in the rotation on that defense. 
Um, it, it's definitely crazy because, like, when I came in, it wasn't really an opportunity for a freshman to to really just play like that or starting, basically, because I had, like, you had Dalvin, you had Jonathan Allen, and um, De'Ron Payne. You had guys like that. And there was no way you was going to play in front of them because they was just dogs, completely dogs. But, I mean, right now, just, uh, just depth-wise, we just – just a little low, and um, I mean, like I said, like DJ, a dog, <laughs> he a dog, and um, and he 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 deserved the opportunity to start for us. I feel like he he worked hard for that position. I feel like more younger guys like um, Harris have been working, just working hard, and they earned it. Did you expect to be here your senior year? Um, do I expect? Did I expect to be here my my senior year? Um, well. I just, my junior year, I just got caught up in all the media stuff and and all that. I mean, I don't really know how to explain that. Just, I, I mean, you know, but they, everybody like, your junior year, you expect to leave. If everybody's saying you leaving and and all this projection stuff they yeah, got, right. it's all crazy. Um, no, not for real, but at the end of the day, I knew I ain't do my job and I ain't, I ain't help this team, and I ain't want to lead this team, and like, in a bad situation with me as a person, and I ain't want to so Coach Saban like I have bad character, because mm -hmm. I'm a good guy. And I feel like if I ain't do it right, I ain't do it how like it's supposed to be done. I'm not gonna just leave it like that. Last one, another one of those young guys who looks to be in line to get some playing time is Evan. I imagine you've gone against him. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot about him. Yeah, what, what what have you seen he, out of his? He's he definitely a, a great kid. He's fun to watch. Um, he heavy. He heavy on the double teams. That's <laughs> that's one guy. He gonna get. He gonna get on double team. <laughs> but he he's a great kid, man. He he work off. He, he work on and off the field. But he he's a great kid. What about his game makes him able to transition to guard after playing tackle in high school? Um, it's just he he he's, he's a great guy. He just he real heavy. He know how to pass pro. Um, he run stop well for us. He you know how to pull. He's a good guy. He got great footwork. All that. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.